So if you're a personal trainer or a gym owner, you're very familiar with spending hours and hours every month writing training programs. Now, training programs really are what set our business apart. So I understand the hesitation to either outsource the writing of your training programs or for using AI to automate it. Believe me, I understand these concerns. I've owned a gym for 12 years. I very much believe in quality programming and I very much believe in quality coaching to go along with the programming. So what I wanna show you today is potentially very important to your business. I'm gonna show you how to use ChatGPT to create a personal programming writing assistant. We're gonna train ChatGPT on the way that you program, on your philosophies, and on the training language and formats that you use. I'm gonna show you exactly how to teach ChatGPT what you already know and what is important to you when it comes to programming. I'm then going to show you how we can use that information to make a personal GPT that you're forever going to be able to use to write programs. But not just programs like you would copy and paste for men's health. High quality programs that represent the standard of your business, that represent the standard of you as a trainer. So let's just dive right in. All right, so before we jump into this, we're going to create a custom GPT that writes programs just like you for your gym, for your business. But in order to make it like actually good and not just garbage, like, you know, I made that joke about personal trainers thinking that they're the best programmers in the world, but there's a lot of shit programming out there. And we don't want to produce any more shit programming. We want to produce good programming. That's why you're in business. That's why you're watching this video. You want to get better at stuff. So the first thing you need to do is you need to compile a bunch of your old programs. You just want to get basically like a huge document that showcases like your general philosophy and how you adapt to different situations to different clients and things like that. The second thing is going to be a little more time consuming. The second thing, and I've experimented with this stuff since ChatGPT came out. What you need to do is you need to create a list of the exercises that you actually program. And the third thing you need is a vision of the specific results that you want out of this process. So just like anything in our industry, like if you set up a Facebook ad, but you don't know what you want to get out of it, you're not going to get anything out of it. And your ad's going to suck. It's the same here. You need to know the exact results that you want to get. So if you are a strength and conditioning coach and you mostly write strength programs, we need to be very explicit with that purpose. If you are a weight loss coach and you program a lot of fast stuff with compound movements and big sets, you need to be very explicit about it. Because the intelligence in AI, the I in AI, isn't the system, it's you. You need to be able to intelligently shape the capabilities of AI, of ChatGPT in this instance, to get exactly what you want out of it. Okay, so once you have all those things compiled, once you have your programs, once you have your, once you have your list of exercises you actually wanna select from, we're gonna finally open up ChatGPT. And once we get to ChatGPT, we're gonna go down to this Explore GPTs box on the left. Once you're here, you're gonna come up to this GPT things. Now GPTs, I'm not gonna lie, they're very hit or miss. We're gonna create our own GPT, and this is essentially going to become your personalized programming assistant. So once we're at this GPT's window, we're gonna go up to the upper right-hand corner and this big green button, you're gonna hit create. So once we come into that new GPT window, it's basically a conversation. There are two ways that we can build a custom GPT. The first way is with the conversation right here, which is in the create tab on the upper left-hand side. If we wanna basically just dictate how we want it to go, we're gonna to go to the configure side. And to be perfectly honest, we're gonna do a combination of these. This conversation is essentially you coaching ChatGPT to produce what you want out of it. So that first message ChatGPT is gonna ask you what you wanna make. And so what we're gonna say is for me, I'm gonna say, I want you to be an exercise and training program writer for me. I want you to create strength programs with the focus of intelligently building muscle, building strength and building endurance. So this right here is where you are going to define the purpose. I focus on helping people look good while making their joints feel better. And we work with a whole vast array of people. We're not really niche down. If you are niche down, you need to be very explicit right here with the type of training programs that you want to make. And I don't mean like how you want it to look, the structure. I mean the overall view, the thousand foot view of your training program. So after that, we're going to press enter. And every time you say something, this little purple wrench thing is going to twist side to side as it updates the behavior of the custom GPT that you're making. So this step right here is where we are going to upload your previous programming. So you're going to click the little paper clip and then you're going to upload the programs that you want your GPT to learn from. So once those little pink circles are complete, you're just going to press enter and it's going to start that analyzation process. So what we're doing right now is we're essentially teaching the GPT, teaching the AI to build things the way that we would build it. Once we've uploaded those programs and you get the response, now it's time to upload your list of exercises that you actually select from. So again, we're going to click that paperclip. You're going to find all those documents or that single document that you made. And then you're going to put the prompt. I want you to analyze these lists of exercises. These are the only exercises that you will select from when you are writing a program. And then we're just gonna press enter. So now that we have all the information in our AI's brain, now it's time to mold the behavior. So if we think about it, it's brain, behavior, and output. So the behavior here is going to be the specific format that we want programs to come in. So when I program for people at my gym, I like to write in supersets. It's more time efficient. It makes sense with the way the equipment's laid out. And it also gives people less of a chance to take a break. So at the end of their hour, they've done more work, they're more sweaty, and they're just more satisfied with the overall experience. 
So I'm going to say I only want you to write training programs in this format. And it's A1, A2, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. That's just how we do it here. You can put whatever you want in here. And if you want to make this more specific, within after each label, you can write something like A1, main strength movement. A2, antagonist strength movement. B1, main strength movement. B2, antagonist strength movement. B3, core movement. So as the GPT talks back to you, you want to make sure that you are very specific about the results that you want. So as you saw there, it told me that it was going to produce the program with A1, A2 at the, at the back of the movement. That's not what I want. I want A1, A2 at the front. So all I told it was, make sure that A1, et cetera, is it before the movement, not after. And as you see right here, it corrected that behavior. So this is the format that I want my programs to come in. So at this point, we're going to go over to the right-hand side and we're going to click create. So I'm going to put this one in the GPT store so you guys can use it. If you look up Strength Coach Pat, it'll come up. So after we publish it, we're going to be able to pull this up whenever we want. It's always going to be over here in the left-hand side of your GPTs. So let's test it out. The beauty of these things is that they're constantly adapting. So that means that you can change its behavior. You can tell it to do shit differently whenever you want. It's not finished and then have to start over. It's finished and then you can go back and update whenever you want. So we're going to test this out. We're going to write, write me a three-day program for a beginner strength client who wants to get a bigger chest. So with your prompts, the more specific you are, the better output you're going to get. And as you see there, we're going to get the perfect response. This program is about like 90 to 95% the way that I would write a program for a beginner coming in here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple edits myself, but that should take me about a minute and a half for the whole program, which is great compared to the half hour to three hours it would take me to write the program entirely from scratch. So our goal here is to build a programming assistant, not just a one-time thing, a programming assistant that on ChatGPT that you can go back to whenever you have to upgrade a program, write a new program, or just kind of like refresh a whole pro a whole group of programs so that you can get things done up to your standard, but without having to spend seven hours hunched over your computer where you end up like crying blood and seeing, you know, the dots in the corner of your eyes at the end because you've been writing 700 programs on a Sunday. All right, maybe 70 programs on a Sunday, 700. A little bit of an overstatement, but it's funny. So once you've refined that example client to get like the exact program that you want, or at least 95% of that program that you want, you can then use that program maker, you can use that personal GPT to write any program for a client that you would yourself. So the name of the game here isn't ego. The name of the game here isn't like, I fucking hustle so hard. The name of the game here is being smart so you can get more done and impact more people because we are fucking useless if we don't impact people and so many trainers get caught up in like puffing their chest out for other fit pros and trying to look good for fucking Luca and Jay Ferrugia on social media that they actually forget to make an impact with the people they need to make an impact with you're not going to do any good just pretending to be somebody else you have to realize that the skills you have are learned and AI is a technology that is teachable it's a technology that is built to learn off the input of the user in this case it's built to learn how to program like you so when you reach a point in your career when you have so many clients that writing program is like an all-day thing that's when you're gonna see how valuable this program writing assistant is. I'm gonna put the entire script for what we put in in the description of this video. I'm also gonna put the link to the GPT that we made in this video in the description. So if you don't feel like making one, just use that one. But the cool thing about these GPTs is that whenever you notice something is not right, you just have to go back into that configuration and add a sentence or two directing the GPT to create the output that you want. Just like a personal training client, you need to coach this thing to get the output that you want, but that's the skill set that you already have. So if you want to make more impact, you have to be smarter with how you spend your time. And AI is the technology that basically makes you a genius with your time. So please don't be like one of those dudes that I've been making fun of the whole time. Just use it, refine it, take your time to mess around with it, coach it like you would a client, and you'll see how valuable it would be to your business and your life.